Japanese maples are wonderful long-term garden plants. Given the right start and a little aftercare from you, they will delight season after season with their fabulous foliage and elegant forms. There are many varieties to choose from. Some are low and spreading, others eventually grow into beautiful small trees. The good news is they are far easier to grow than many people believe. They grow on most soils, however Japanese maples also make wonderful subjects for pots and containers. Grown in this way, they add height, maturity and beauty to balconies, courtyards and patios. Aces prefer a neutral to acid soil. So in pots, use Vitax ericaceous compost mixed with equal quantities of John Innes number no. 3. This will help to make the compost more water retentive and also it makes it heavier which helps stability. Choose a pot that enhances the character of the maple and also one that looks good in your garden. It needs to be considerably bigger than the growing pot, giving the plant enough room to grow and develop over the next few years. It needs to hold enough compost to keep the plant stable and also to prevent drying out. Aces hate to be dry at the roots. Water the plant thoroughly before you start. Put a layer of broken crocs in the bottom of the pot to cover the drainage holes. Now partially fill the pot with the compost mix. Next, carefully remove the acer from its pot and set on one side. The root ball will stay intact. Position the growing pot in the container and then fill around it with the compost mix. Add a small handful of Vitax acer feed and mix it into the compost. Now firm down the compost with your fingertips around the pot and then carefully lift out the growing pot and drop in your acer. It will fit perfectly ensuring really good contact between those roots and its lovely new compost. Use exactly the same technique when planting in the open ground. Prepare the soil well add plenty of compost and a couple of good handfuls of Vitax Acer feed. Then, in both cases, remember to water thoroughly and keep watering during the first growing season until the plant is well established. Acers hate to be dry at the roots. That's the main reason they struggle on shallow chalk soils. If they're too dry, the tips of the leaves become brown and eventually the whole leaf goes crispy. If plants are affected, if they're watered well, they normally recover and actually go on to flourish in subsequent years. When you're planting in the open ground, add plenty of organic compost because that helps to hold on to the moisture. Most aces are happiest with some shade. However, the red leaf forms need enough direct sunlight for good foliage color. With too much shade, the leaves become dull and the autumn colour is poor. The variegated forms and those with thin, delicate leaves like much shadier conditions. Japanese maples hate exposed conditions where delicate foliage can become damaged, especially early in the season. They're ideal for sheltered gardens and courtyards. And when you're planting in the open ground, Plant them where they get shelter from other mature trees and shrubs. They're not greedy feeders, however they do need the right nutrients for healthy growth and vibrant foliage. Vitax Acer Feed is an organic fertiliser, releasing its nutrients slowly to keep your Japanese maple in perfect condition right through the year. In pots, scrape off the soil surface scatter on the fertiliser and top up with fresh compost.
For aces growing in the open ground, a couple of handfuls sprinkled over the soil surface, worked into the ground and watered thoroughly is all your plants need. So wherever you grow your Japanese maples, give them the best and look after them. They're such wonderful garden plants and so rewarding to grow.